Now it's time for the mix. You know about the Boston Yeti, right? We've been talking about him. Dresses up in this kind of scary white costume mm -hmm. and looks kind of scary. There he is, a little spooky out in the snow. Apparently, he's a fan of the show. <laughs> he put a mix together with us, you and me in it. Take a listen. Back here, of course, it's Blizzard. Yes. Things are kind of getting a little crazy. A little crazy. Case in point, uh, the ball, yeah, 2015. Getting all kinds of attention online right now. It's been cited wandering the streets of Somerville, Massachusetts. Some jokers are speculating. That's a song is on SoundCloud. It's under the username Boston Yeti, and the name of the song is Streets of Somerville. Do we get credit? We don't get credit, but I think he's not going to come to our house, which is what I am very grateful. He doesn't know where we live because he's a little spooky to me. You know, this is not surprising. These are the type of fans. We, we, we shouldn't be surprised that the Yeti is a fan of the show. Yeah, it's right on par. We get some strange ones. We love, that's a compliment, folks. We love you, but to be <laughs> up with this hour with us, <laughs> something's got to be a little off. Uh, oh. <laughs> we'll continue here. Let's turn to uh, Corey McCloskey is his name. He's a weatherman. You probably don't know him, but he's out in Phoenix. And, you know, he, these guys have to use computers and all the stuff to uh, get their jobs done. Sometimes computers go a little wacky. Listen to this guy. And, frankly, <laughs> Wickenburg is a total loss. <laughs> Oh you might as well just get out of anywhere along this 60 years. A very warm surprise is starting to heat up as well at 1,300 degrees. So, uh, again, the safe spots seem to be Chandler and Mesa. He went with it. You know, some of these temperatures, 2,900 degrees, 1,300, 1,600, 2,300. He just had a little fun with it. He, he had fun. He didn't crack a smile. He's a real pro. He's a pro. That's hard to do. How do you do that sometimes when, it, you know, It happens easy. so often that you just you learn to go that, with right? it. Yeah. You know, presentation's everything when it comes to food, especially on oh, game yeah. day, oh. right? Here's the ultimate snack holder. Take a look at that. This is a do-it-yourself. Apparently, you can do it half drunk is what they promote. It's a handy do-it-yourself video. They promote it that way? Yeah. Straightforward enough, you can do it half drunk. Just hours <laughs> before kickoff, that was the promotion. And it looks pretty nifty. I wouldn't mind one of these. That's kind of impressive. It's a cool way to serve food, actually. It totally is. And you can do it half drunk. Yeah. Ooh, like look we didn't mention. Uh, finally here, this is... The big deal for the guys in television. You have to wear ties every this. single day. You got to get the knot right. The dimple has to be perfect. I tie a half Windsor every single day. But did you know there are about 29 other ways at least to tie your tie? And these guys put a video together showing you 30 ways. This is on YouTube from a couple of tying experts. 30 ways to tie your tie. About 26 of them you wouldn't want to wear to a business meeting. Okay. But still, they're interesting. Why wouldn't you wear them? Because they're a little extravagant. They're kind of over the top. Like, look at that. You, oh, I like so that. You did not. Then people would buzz about you. Office I don't buzz. Need buzz.